Yeah, good morning. Live, live, live. July 14th, Thursday, 2016, star date. It's your pal Malin this morning. Woke up reasonably early, 6.30. That's probably the best time for me to wake up. 3.30 is insane, 4.30 is too early. 5.30 is cool, 6.30 is the sweet spot. But I woke up this morning, made some coffee, did some Snapchatting. If you're not on Snapchat yet, you need to get it and follow me. My name is just Malin Darris, M-A-L-A-N-D-A-R-R-A-S. I'll put it on the screen. It's a good time, short videos, much different than the YouTube channel. But this morning I did some Snapchat videos, made some coffee, and then I came across this post by Joe Rogan about, um, uh, it's a 1935 weed propaganda flyer. And you know Joe, like he's a big advocate of marijuana being legalized, has been for a long time, and it's starting to happen here in California. It is legal in California with a medical a doctor's certificate of approval. Here is this share that Joe Rogan put out about a uh, 1935 weed propaganda flyer. You've got to see this. You can go to Joe Rogan's um, Instagram page and see the actual flyer, but there it is. It's this terrifying old school advertisement, and that's all it is. It's an ad. It's not the truth. It's just an ad to push a certain type of thinking on the public. And what they wanted the public to think was that marijuana was as bad as, you know, cocaine, heroin, crack, whatever, <clears throat> which it is obviously not, never was. And here's, I, don't, I can't read it and do this shot, but it says, <laughs> Put that mental picture in your mind. Look at the warning. I love warning. That's great. It says, beware, another great word. If you're into affiliate marketing, those are both great words for headlines. Beware and warning. So listen to this. It says, beware, young and old, people in all walks of life. This, and then there's a picture of a, of a hand holding a joint. This may be handed to you by the friendly stranger, underlined. It contains the killer drug, marijuana, a powerful narcotic in which lurks murder, insanity, and death. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> it, it contains the killer drug, marijuana, a powerful narcotic in which lurks murder, insanity, and death. That's like black tar heroin. It's not marijuana. What, what the hell are these guys talking about? Warning, another great word, dope peddlers are shrewd. They may put some of this drug in the teapot or in the coffee or in the tobacco cigarette. This is insane. Then it has a, an address you can write to for more information in Chicago, 53 West Jackson Boulevard. That's the ad. Beware, young and old, people in all walks of life, this picture of a joint may be handed to you by the friendly stranger. It contains the killer drug, marijuana, a powerful narcotic in which lurks murder, insanity, and death. Warning! Dope peddlers are shrewd. They may put some of this drug in the, in the teapot or in the coffee or in the tobacco cigarette. This is so bad. And here's what Joe Rogan has to say about it. It says, 1935 weed propaganda flyer. Even back then, weed was being handed out by friendly strangers. Weed is one of the rare things that promotes a sense of sharing that's almost universal. People don't share cigars or swigs of beer from the same bottle regularly. But when someone lights a joint, they pass it around and everyone's lips touch the same place with no concern at all. It's an often overlooked aspect of how powerful the influence of this magical plant is. That's what he has to say. Here's what I have to say. I look at this from a different angle. I look at this from an advertising angle. And the same, I would guess that this was created by some government related anti marijuana task force. So someone sat around and came up with this, which is an advertisement to tell people not to smoke marijuana. That's all it is. It's not the truth. It's, it's, not a, it's not a doctor's. It's just a warning. It's to scare you and terrify you from using marijuana. And my thing is, if, if they were dumb enough to make this just outright bullshit to scare people from doing things, what else were they lying about? This is 1935. This stuff went on and on and on for the next 50 years. I mean, tobacco companies were able to 
advertised that their cigarettes were recommended by doctors. Eight out of ten doctors recommend Camel Lights. These death, definitely addictive, deadly cigarettes were, were fine. That, they were like, that's fine. Marijuana? No, it's, it's beware, murder. It'll cause you to kill people, insanity, and death. But this deadly cigarette? Eight out of ten doctors recommend Camel Lights or, or whatever. It's so ridiculous what they do. So what happens when I look back, now that, now that we're smarter and the technology that we have allows us to be a, a much smarter public, a general public, now we can see, I look back, okay, this is, uh, what, 80, 90 years ago, 80 years ago, they were pulling this shit. Do you think they've actually stopped pulling this shit? No, they're still doing this, just in different ways, but they're using TV, they're using the internet, they're using YouTube or whatever. So when you watch the news, especially the news, when you watch the news, just watch it knowing that the same people that made this, the same people that made this are making, now they're making the, the war stories, the terror stories, the news, the magazines, the newspapers, the articles that we read. They're creating all those as well, just to push an agenda. It's totally fake, totally not real. That's why I tell people like in yesterday's video, don't watch the news. People say, well, I watch the news to stay informed. That's the worst thing you can do to be informed. If you wanna be informed, you have to get away from the mainstream media completely and find some weird source where the truth exists, and that is a very hard thing to find. Other than here, on my channel, and a lot of the times with Joe Rogan. If you don't know who Joe Rogan is, and you're at all interested in comedy, hilarious stuff, psychedelic drugs, marijuana, and all kinds of interesting guests that he has on his podcast, it's just a great podcast. Check out the Joe Rogan podcast. Google it, find it, love it, live it, love it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for today's video. I just saw this, I had to do it, I had to do it. I'm also testing out a little lapel mic. Check it out. Let me know what you think of the audio in the comments. And let me know what you think of this ridiculous advertisement about marijuana, murder, insanity, and death. That's my favorite part. Like if you smoke pot, if you accidentally smoke pot from a friendly stranger passing you a joint, you're gonna kill someone, go insane, and then die. Absolutely crazy. That's why I, I used to wait. I, when I was younger, I used to want to change the whole world. When I was 15, 12 years old, I came up with this idea. I was going to change the world through music. I was going to like flip the whole thing on its head. That didn't happen. So I do what little I can here on the YouTube channel, and I'm glad you joined me. I will see you bright and early in the future. <laughs>